We have a variety of clients in the life sciences industry group. We have pharmaceutical and therapeutics companies that are looking to cure illnesses and diseases. We have medical device companies that are implanting into the human body or trying to help physicians as they're making surgeries. We have health tech companies as well, where we're looking at different ways to clone food or grow food and use different sources. Our companies range from startup companies who are kind of just angels and seed funding all the way through publicly traded companies. The clients that we work with are doing more than just you know trying to succeed financially. They're trying to build devices or find cures for disease of all humankind. So helping people live happier, longer lives. Right now we're seeing a lot of companies that were looking to IPO or were looking to kind of have a transaction and now are going, hmm, now that the markets are down, what can we do? So we're seeing a lot of companies that are looking to potentially license their technology to other companies or to sell parts of their portfolio. And so we are trying to structure those. We have a lot more companies that are interested in the research and development tax credits or the employee retention credits as a way to monetize because there's less capital restrictions there. And we're also seeing companies that now with a mobile workforce, instead of everyone being in the same office, they're hiring in multiple states. And so trying to find a good structure for that and what makes sense from a tax perspective as we start to have the workforce outside of just the home state and even into other countries. Our group's made up of about 50 professionals split between audit tax and advisory. So I would say a fairly even allocation of those professionals throughout the, the different functions. The Life Science Industry Group is really the group that impacts people the most. It makes our lives better. I was originally interested in the Life Science Industry Group when my mom was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and there's no treatment for it. And so I wanted to be a part of an industry that was potentially going to bring her some sort of relief, some sort of treatment to make the day-to-day the -day pain go away. It's exciting to be part of something that could help somebody live a happier life.